Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest content. Now, if you want to get more one-on-one -on -one help, then visit the description. Below this video, there's a number of ways you can get in contact with me personally to talk and discuss uh, and ask me any questions you may have with your about your training business. So today I want to talk about how to build a soccer training brand. Now, something I get asked regularly is Leo, how do I promote, how do I market my brand to my audience? Some coaches also ask me, how do I start a brand? So how do I build it from scratch? And how do I design it in a way where it's attractive to my audience? So I want to share with you four things that I want you to take into account when you're looking to start a soccer training business but also when you're looking to build a brand that is catchy, it is easy to sell, and your audience can relate to what you are looking to do. So the four things, number one, is first you, you have to know your audience. Okay, so when I speak to coaches or when I work with coaches on a one-on-one -on -one basis, I always talk to them about having a niche right so having a niche means a specific type of client or parent or player that you want to work with and you want to target to so for example this could be you might only want to work with with female athletes so that's going to be your your specific niche it might be players that play at a grassroots or a rec level it might be elite players, players that are at uh, academy clubs. Okay, so you have to know your niche and also you have to know what is the age of the players that you want to work with. Once you have that all locked down, then ultimately the, the marketing, the branding is going to be a lot easier because you know what you're going to be targeting your audience with. Okay, so... If you know that right, I want to work with female athletes ages 9 to 12. What is now one thing that those type of athletes struggle with? Okay, so if, for example, you know that a lot of players struggle with confidence at that age, okay, something that you, you build a brand around is helping players get to the next level so they can improve their confidence. So your branding and your marketing and your promoting has to have that relevance. So it has to be linked to the problem you're looking to solve for your specific niche. Okay, now that's the first bit. So knowing your niche, knowing who you want to target your audience to. The next one is choosing a company name. So choosing a name that is attractive, choosing a name that you know parents are going to look for when they look through Google. Okay, and why is this important? It's important because if you type in soccer training or football training in your local city, hundreds of coaches are going to come up. Okay, but how do you differentiate yourself from the rest? You, you do that by having a name that parents are going to be looking for. Okay, now I can't answer what your name will be. Because that's something that you have to take some time out to, to think about, to really research your market, know your target audience, know your niche. But I know that when you do pick a, a name for your academy, for your business, it has to be something that parents are going to look for. So as I mentioned, if you know that you, you want to work with female athletes 9 to 12, you want to help them get to the next level. You want to help them with their confidence. Okay, It could be a name related to that. So it could be Female Soccer Academy uh, Next Level or Next Level Female Soccer Academy. Okay, Those are just some examples of what I'm talking about. right? So the name has to be related to the niche and to the type of market you are looking to attract. Okay, so that's the second thing. The third thing is now you've got to design the logo, right? So the branding is the logo. 
Hey, branding is the logo, it's the color, it's the theme, it's what attracts people to your business. So a logo is important, okay? And it is important in terms of branding because that's essentially how you, you get people to feel part of what you're doing. So you know who your niche is, you know now your company name. Now the next bit is finding or designing and creating a logo that is specific to the, the, the two above. Okay, so it has to be a logo that is attractive it has to be a logo that is appealing. It has to be a logo that people, when when they put your, your business, you know, jersey or your shirt on and they're wearing your logo, they feel proud of being part of your company. Okay, so it's really important that you do take time on this, okay? And if you need to hire someone, okay, to design and create the logo, logo, logo for you, then sometimes it's worth the investment because that can make the difference between, you know, someone staying in your program and someone leaving your program, okay? Because the, the color theme, the logo, uh, the imagery of the logo, right? All of that is really important because it, it has an appeal to your players and parents. They want to feel part of your company. They want to feel, feel part of your academy. And if the color theme is attractive if just the imagery of the logo if the logo is nice then it's going to be a lot easier to brand and to market when you promote it on social media or when you put it out on flyers so it has to be attractive it has to have a color theme and the theme has to be connected with the above right so it has to be connected with your niche has to be connected with the problem you're, you're looking to solve for the players you want to work with and also, it has to be linked with the name you are ultimately going to be called. Okay. Now, the fourth one is promote now. Okay. So, once you've figured out the niche, once you've created the name, once you've created the logo, now we've got to promote the brand. Okay, so what are different ways you can promote the brand? You can promote the brand through, obviously, social media, through flyers, email marketing, uh, getting out there, speaking to parents. Uh, you can hand out business cards, right? So promoting yourself is going to be where you now generate, uh, I, you put eyeballs on your brand. So when you brand yourself on social media, if you upload videos of you working with clients, then make sure you always put your brand in there so people can relate to what you are looking to do or what you are doing. Okay, so branding is really important. And that's why I said that the theme, the color, the imagery that you you choose to go with will be important because that will ultimately separate you from the rest of the competitors in your local area. Okay, and then once you've completed all of that, now it's time to now promote and market the brand. And you have to figure out where your parents are. Are your parents or your target audience on Instagram? Are they on Facebook? Are they on YouTube? Are they on Twitter? Are they on LinkedIn? Right, where are you gonna target your, your branding so that you can get in front of your target audience and generate and create leads that then come into your business and show an interest in, in buying your product and service. Okay, so if you need more help with this, again, visit the link below, the description below this video. There's a few ways you can get in contact with me. I speak and I connect with coaches every single day. I help them with their branding, with their marketing, with their promoting. Okay, so get in contact with me. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content.